You've probably heard of a supernova, right? It's when a star explodes and becomes super bright. But have you ever heard of a supernova that appears three times in the same photo? No, it's not a glitch. It's not a hoax. It's not Photoshop. It's physics. And it could help us crack one of the toughest nuts in cosmology, the Hubble tension. Curious? You should be, because this is amazing. First of all, what is this supernova that I'm talking about? Well, it's called SNH0PE, and it was discovered by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope in March. JWST is the most powerful and expensive telescope ever built. It took forever to launch and it costs a fortune to make, about $10 billion to be exact. That's more money than some countries make in a year. But hey, it was worth it, right? Because it can see things that no other telescope can see, like this supernova, for example. Isn't it awesome? By the way, I'm going to call this supernova Hope, because I think it's a perfect name for something that could help us solve one of the biggest cosmic mysteries ever, the Hubble tension. Yeah, absolutely not because it vaguely resembles the word itself. Now let's move on and ask a simple question. What is the Hubble tension? Well, you'll have to wait a bit to find out, because I have a lot more to tell you about Hope first. So JWST has been busy snapping some awesome pics of the faraway cosmos, and one of them made the astronomers go, wow. It shows a bunch of galaxies hanging out together called G165, which is like 4.5 billion light years away from us. That means we're seeing them as they were 4.5 billion years ago, when Earth was still a baby and life was just getting started. But what's really cool is that around this galaxy gang, there's a curve of orange light with three bright dots. These are not stars or planets or space rocks. They are actually copies of the same supernova that went boom behind the galaxies about 16 billion light years away from us. How crazy is that? It's like a cosmic magic trick, thanks to gravitational lensing. How can one supernova appear three times in the same image? This happens when a massive object like a galaxy or a black hole plays peekaboo with another object behind it and bends the space-time around it with its gravity. This causes the light from behind it to bend as well, creating multiple images of the same source. It's like looking through a magnifying glass or a water droplet. You can see distorted and enlarged versions of whatever is behind it. Gravitational lensing is like nature's own Instagram filter but better. It can make things look bigger, brighter and more awesome than they really are. It can also reveal secrets that are hidden from our eyes, like the super distant supernova Hope. Without gravitational lensing, we would have no clue that it even exists. But why is Hope so important? Well, Hope is not just a random star that went boom. It's a Type 1a supernova, which is a very special kind of cosmic firework. These supernovas are like the rulers of the universe because they have a fixed brightness that never changes. By comparing how bright they look to us with how bright they really are, we can figure out how far away they are from us. And by measuring how fast they are zooming away from us, we can figure out how fast the universe is growing. Pretty cool, huh? And this is where things get tricky, because there are two ways to measure the expansion rate of the universe, also known as the Hubble constant, and they don't match. One way is to use the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, which is the ancient glow from the Big Bang that covers the whole sky. By studying the tiny differences in its heat and twist, we can guess how fast the universe was growing when it was just a baby, only 380,000 years old. The other way is to use standard candles, like Type 1a supernovas, or variable stars called Cepheids. By observing them at different distances from us, we can measure how fast they are moving away from us today. But the problem is that these two methods give different values for the Hubble constant, and not by a small margin. We're talking about a 9% discrepancy, which is huge in cosmology. This means that either one or both of these methods are flawed, or there's some new physics that we don't understand yet. This riddle has been baffling scientists for decades, and some have even called it a disaster for cosmology. Because if we can't agree on how fast the universe is stretching, how can we believe anything else we say about it? How can we tell its story from birth to death? How can we check our ideas of dark matter, dark energy and inflation? How can we solve the big puzzles of life, the universe and everything? This is what we call the Hubble tension, a tug of war between two ways of measuring the same thing with no clear winner in sight. It's one of the most exciting and frustrating mysteries in modern science but it could lead us to discover new secrets of the cosmos. 
or it could just be a big headache that won't go away. So how do we solve this mystery of the Hubble tension? What are the possible sources of this discrepancy? Maybe we messed up somewhere in our calculations or measurements, and one or both of the methods are giving us wrong answers. Maybe there's some new physics or new stuff in the universe that we don't know about yet, and it's messing with our results. Maybe the Hubble constant is not so constant after all, and it changes depending on where you look in the universe. But none of these explanations are very convincing. They all need more proof and more testing to confirm or deny, and that's why hope is so important. Because it is the second farthest Type 1a supernova ever found, and because it is amplified and duplicated by gravitational lensing, it gives us more data and more accuracy than any other standard candle. It could help us narrow down the possible values for the Hubble constant and maybe even fix the problem once and for all. Or maybe not. It could just make things more complicated and confusing. It might reveal something even more surprising and mysterious about the universe. And in the end, we may find ourselves doubting everything we thought we knew. Yeah, who doesn't love a good plot twist in a cosmic story? But what if the universe has no beginning and no ending? It is infinite and eternal. The Hubble constant is just an illusion and we're chasing a mirage, a phantom, a ghost. Well, that's not a crazy idea. In fact, that was the prevailing view of the universe before the 20th century. Most people believed that the universe was static, unchanging, and filled with stars and nebulae. They thought that the night sky was dark because of dust and gas blocking the light from distant stars. They had no idea that there were other galaxies beyond our Milky Way. But then came Edwin Hubble, the man who rocked our cosmic world view. He was an American astronomer who had access to the coolest toy of his time, the 100-inch Hooker Telescope at Mount Wilson Observatory in California. He noticed that some of the fuzzy blobs in the sky were actually galaxies like our own, and that they were running away from us at different speeds. He figured out that the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it is fleeing from us. This relationship is now known as Hubble's Law, and it suggests that the universe is expanding. But what if Hubble was wrong? What if there is another way to explain his observations? That's what some scientists are wondering. They have a different idea about the nature of the universe. They believe that our universe is just one bubble in an infinite sea of bubbles, and each bubble is created by a process called inflation, which is a fancy way of saying that space blew up really fast right after the Big Bang. But inflation may not happen the same way everywhere. Some bubbles may pop out other bubbles, and this process can create new universes with different rules and stuff. According to this view, Hubble's law is not a sign of an expanding universe, but a result of our location in a multiverse. We happen to live in a bubble that is drifting away from other bubbles, creating an illusion of expansion. The Hubble constant is not a constant at all, but a variable that changes depending on where you are in the multiverse. I know it sounds crazy, but if you think about it, what's not crazy and weird in some way? But I think we just feel less bothered by the weirdness when we get used to something. Maybe this bubble idea will sound completely normal in the future, who knows? But yeah, there are too many strange things going on in our universe like a black hole that is millions of light years away and is devouring a star regularly. Every time it strikes, it consumes a part of the star that is equal to three times the mass of the Earth. Yes, you heard me right, three times the mass of our world. And you can watch it right now by clicking here. You will also see a gamma ray burst that is 400 quadrillion times brighter than the sun. But that's not all. Before you leave, I have one more thing to say. It may sound like a typical YouTuber thing, but it really makes a difference for the growth of the channel. Are you ready? Here it is. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time with more awesome space news.